Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Train Sim World 3. Today we're back in Manchester Piccadilly with the Class 323 where we're going to be driving a full run on the Hadfield and Glossop line. We're on the 0552 service uh, all the way through. Have we got a, a board to do there? Oh, I thought we had a board. Uh, but yeah, Manchester Piccadilly uh, in all its glory. One thing I didn't mention on the video though because it was a sponsored video last time and I was asked not to mention it. What on earth's going on here? This isn't Manchester Piccadilly. What's that? I mean, we can't walk down there, obviously. Uh, this is usually glass in real life. And there's a huge, great, big, glorious concourse. I honestly thought that they would model that, and I am absolutely very disappointed. Absolutely very disappointed. I didn't know the right words there, but I am very disappointed because none of these are here in real life. Uh, you do have, as well, access up here, but if you zoom in at the top there, you can see they haven't done the satellite lounge just literally that tiny little bit between what would that have taken realistically come on guys that's poor to say the least um yeah i'm i'm not a fan of that uh, but that is only really to be honest with you now we've got that out of the way which i did have to point out because uh, it killed me that i didn't point it out last time but as i say uh, i wasn't allowed to um which again yeah, uh, <laughs> think of that what you will. Uh, bills have got to be paid somehow, folks, I tell you that now. Uh, right, so we'll get in here because we're just about ready to go, aren't we? Uh, yeah, lovely, lock the doors, put it in forwards. Yep, that'll do. And then when the doors are shut, we'll, uh, we'll make a move. Right, T.O. So, that's lovely. If we press uh, escape on here, we can see the map. So we're at Manchester Piccadilly now. We're going to be going through Ardwick. I don't think we call there. We'll see. Uh, Ashbury's Gorton, Fairfield, Guide Bridge, Hyde North, Flowery Field, Newton for Hyde, Godley, Hattersley, Broadbottom, Dinton, and I think we're a gloss up service today. We might turn around and do the Hadfield. I don't really know what the setup is. But yes, we're on our way. Full steam ahead. So we're not calling it Ardwick. I mean, we didn't call it Ardwick last time, except we did call it Ardwick because I wasn't paying attention. But yeah, Ashbury's is the first stop. Don't let me stop at Ardwick, people. Don't let me do it. Uh, yeah, but again, as I was saying, all that unpleasantness regarding the uh, the barriers aside at Piccadilly, I, I still stand by what I said. I'm pleased with this route. I think it's a decent little route. It's quite nice to see Manchester, uh, because as I mentioned last time, I do work on the trains in the Manchester area. So there's a lot of areas that I recognise, and, you know, it's, it's nice. It is nice. Another 323 three coming in there. It's nice also that they put the crew services, the stoke on trents that are all 323s in real life. Um, what else have they got? They've got the, um, begins with an H. Hazel Groves, they're on there as well. It's, you know, and Blackpool's, they're 323s. I know in real life they're 331s, but it's nice that they put them in as scenery traffic. And they haven't put any diesel services in that aren't scenery traffic, if you see what I mean. Like, so, um, for instance, a Chester doesn't have a 323 on it. So they have paid attention to that. I, I like that. I like that a lot. Right, off we go. I've played this so much on SimSig, the Manchester Piccadilly route. So it's, it's really quite weird to, uh, you know, I often think trains coming out of platforms one and two at Piccadilly, whenever they're going round towards uh, Ardwick and Ashbridge, they always seem to take forever to get down this little stretch of track. And now you can see why. Here's where we need like Transpennine 185 to Cleethorpes or Manchester Airport going whizzing past. That'd be quite nice if they did a 185 for Trensing World because they could add a lot of scenery traffic to this route. That would be a route that I would be massively in favour of if they did a 185 with Manchester Piccadilly to York. I know they won't. Manchester Piccadilly to Leeds, maybe? I mean, they've already done Victoria to Leeds, but yeah, they should they should do that. They absolutely should do that. It would it would be a brilliant route to drive. <coughs> Excuse me. I guess we've already got Manchester Victoria to uh, to Leeds, the Trains and Classic, haven't we? We've also got Manchester Victoria to Leeds on this, but obviously it's set in the BR Blue days. what 323s need. A bit of speed set, a bit of lazy driving on my part. I 
That's not good. Driver's telephone going off in the cab. Oh, that should be switched off. Goodness me. If we're going to play it, we may as well play it properly, haven't we? Well, for this early morning service, I have got my uh, trusty mug of coffee at the side of me. Ooh, we're running a little bit late, aren't we? We've got the rock at the side of us there. Oh, there's a poster that needs doing. I don't think we've got long enough to do the poster. Do you get some sort of reward if you do all the tasks? I've never actually managed to complete all the tasks. Oh, they're running. They're running. Mm. Obviously, even though there are guards on this service, the uh, the guard isn't simulated. Oh no, he's missed his train. Oh, never mind, sir. You'll be first in line for the next one. I didn't do badly there for stopping. Oh, next stop, Guy Bridge. We're a reasonably fast service on this one. I like it. Got the uh, the right hand corner there, right hand corner, uh, Ashbury's Junction. Obviously, if you turn right there, you go round towards uh, Broad Bottom. No, we're going to Broad Bottom on this. It's not Broad Bottom. I'm thinking of it's Breadbury and Brunnington, uh, the northern stopping services to Sheffield. Go around there. whizzing along now aren't we it's quite nice because a lot of the time you come down here and because obviously this is the northern service this is the stopping service if ever you come down here on a trans pennine service you usually catch the northern up because if you've looked down here there is quite a uh, quite a lot of trains that run down here because we've got a Hadfield every 20 minutes you've obviously got your northern Sheffields that are every hour but then you've got a Rose Hill Marple think is, is it Rose Hill Marple that are also every hour so they're every half an hour down there so you've got quite a few trains between uh, Piccadilly and Ashbury. You've also got your services that fly up here you've got uh, diesel services that turn right at is it Hyde North? I think it doesn't show on the map does it that just shows a route map but I think it's I think it's around Hyde North there is a, a right turn here we did see it in the last video but I'll point it out this video as well just so that uh, everyone knows and yeah you get some diesel services going around there as well sorry you will hear periodical slurping of coffee I'll try and keep that to a minimum, but driver needs his caffeine. Honestly, at 5.58 in the morning, I think the railway's buzzing with caffeine. Stand back, missus. We're not stopping. Going straight through. What I also failed to mention as well in the last video was there is actually a... Um, I said, oh, well, maybe the guard mode, the guard mission is also the rail enthusiast photographing mode that's not the case it is definitely uh, definitely 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 a separate mission where you can go train spotting I don't really know what there is to see other than quite a lot of 323s if you if you like a 323 then brilliant I mean there's there's obviously periodical freight movements up and down but I wouldn't you know I wouldn't say enough to make me want to stand and be a virtual spotter I've never really I mean do you enjoy those missions? If you do, leave a, uh, a comment in the description, in the comments section, not the description, you blithering idiot. Um, yeah, leave a comment. Uh, you know, have you? Uh, it's a shame you can't leave photos as well, isn't it? We're well, perhaps a little bit early there, but we do have a yellow, so we'll. Oh, what happened? Oh, it was doing the, um, the flash, the blue flash. You know what it was doing on the uh, on the other 
what was it? It was Edinburgh to Glasgow, wasn't it? Where the textures were just absolutely revolting in the cab. I've not played that since. I don't know if they've sorted it or not. The sounds were odd. The textures were even odder. They look like Linda Blair's skin complexion. And if you don't know who Linda Blair is, Google it. I mean, it's not particularly pleasant, so, you know, if, if you are... Don't blame me for... Oh, Joe, I looked at that and it made me upset. You, you, you know, it's... Um, no, Linda Blair was... Uh, she played... Is it Regan? Is that what she was called? Yeah, I think it was Regan in The Exorcist, uh, which is a horror film from many years ago. Uh, so yeah, if, if you're easily uh, easily scared, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't Google that because it's not a particularly nice face. But that's what the textures of the 385 remind me of, and I can't unsee it to be honest with you. All right, unlock left. There's a bell ringing, and it is 6 a.m. I mean, they're a minute behind, so if you're relying on that to uh, you know set your watch by, perhaps that's not the best. Blow me number. Can't be many getting on or off here. There's, uh, there's no guard on this, so we're going to have to pretend, aren't we? The, uh, the junction, sorry, just after Guide Bridge Station here takes you around to the left. That's if you're going to Staley Bridge. You end up with the uh, current day Scarborough and Newcastle services for Trans Pennine Express, as well as the stoppers go uh, round to the left there. As you can see, the wires just go this way. We're on the, uh, the bed of the old Woodhead line. Which is such a shame about the wood headline because it was so ahead of its time. It was massively ahead of its time for what it was. Ooh, we've only got a yellow, so I think we'll just stick it about 39. We'll just plod, how's that? Oh, we've got a green. Well, I tell you what, we'll pretend we're a proper driver. We've not seen the green. Drivers obviously don't have this in the top right-hand corner. So we'll just plod along as if we're expecting the next signal to be a red, and then when we come round the corner and see it's a green, then we'll accelerate. Oh, I think I can see it there. Right, off we go. Yeah, I know it's a little bit pathetic, but we like the realism. That's what we're here for, a bit of realism. And obviously on Trentum Classic, you can't see what the next signal is, can you? I wish there was a way of turning that signal... I think there is a way of turning that off, but I, I don't know... Uh, yeah, I don't think you can turn the aspect off without actually turning off how far away it is, if you see what I mean. Because I need the how far away it is, because I don't sign the route, but I don't know my breaking points. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to know what the aspect is. Do you get what I mean by that? Here we go, we've got a 25 mile an hour to the right there, bit of a crossover. Uh, yeah, there's a junction going off to the right. I'm sure that's where the uh, the stopping services somewhere else go. In fact, it probably is because there's a station there. Bit of braking. Maybe that was simulating us being behind a stopping service there. Did we catch up a little 142? Probably not in uh, if we're driving in this livery. So I think Flowery Field, that was where we finished the last video, wasn't it? When we were just driving. Yes, it was, because I walked up, didn't I, and, uh, and out and across. So I've genuinely not driven this route after this. I should have done. I should have done, but I. this is the first time that I'm seeing beyond here, so it'll be quite nice for us both. As I was saying uh, earlier, I, oh, I like the route, I think it's a good route. I've not actually driven it all. Isn't that criminal? I don't know why I've been, uh, well, with work, I've been so busy recently. I just don't feel like I have a minute to myself. So I haven't really had time to explore up here. So, uh, yeah, that, that's my reason, and I'm sticking to it. I hope we get a gold medal. Full steam ahead. Oh, you'll be giving me wheel slip. Ah, 
Oh, I have a coffee. That's no good. That means there'll be no more slurping. The slurping has finished, everybody. So if you're not good at uh, listening to slurps, then you can relax. You can take your fingers out your ears. You can take your fingers out your ears. No, probably still haven't heard me. Never mind. Where are we going next? Newton for Hyde. There's a lot of Hydes down here, isn't there? There's Hyde Central, Hyde North, Newton for Hyde. Hyde must be quite a big place, and yet it's the biggest place you've never heard of. <laughs> you know, until I moved over Manchester way uh, into darkest Cheshire and uh, sort of started paying a bit more attention to the local railways. I've never heard of this place called Hyde, ever. I sort of feel like if I was a better driver here, I would approach these stations quicker. You know, sort of step two it in. Step one is alright, but it sort of feels like you're approaching the station very slowly. Oh, we've got a little bit of time here. Right, okay. Let's, uh, let's get out. Look at that, we've caught up time. What's this? Ah, oh, lovely. 607 to Hadfield. That is us. And we, oh, we can come down here. Right, so this is modelled as well. TVM's knackered. Let's put a map on. And, and a doodah. Look at that. That's brilliant. Oh, I like that. Okay, it seems everything else is in order. Let's put some flowers in the bees. I hope that if you do, like, fill all the bee plant pot things with flowers, that you get like a doo -doo -doo -doo! you know, like a, a little tune to, to signify you've done it. There's some bees down there, but we haven't got time. Could you imagine if you were sat on a train now and you saw your driver legging it round, restocking metros, filling bees, fill it, you know, cheeky bit of gardening at seven minutes past six in the morning? You'd be very confused, wouldn't you? You know, at no point as a uh, as a train conductor have I ever arrived at a station and thought, oh, do you know what, I'll just get my geraniums out of my bag and just fill that plant pot up there because it's looking a little bit withered. <laughs> I like the concept, but it's a bit of a bizarre one, isn't it? Give our colleague a wave. Godly, the next stop. We need a, uh, a photo mode on this, don't we? There we go, that'll do. Let's pop that back up, because I do not know the route. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, far out with 350 yards, a little bit more braking. Might have been breaking a little bit early there. We're giving the guard a little bit more time to do tickets, which I'm absolutely sure they're doing between uh, between Godley and the previous station, whose name I've already forgotten. That's terrible, isn't it? Ooh, there's a poster down there. No, oh, now we've broke too late. Oh no, terrible. Right there we go. Bit of bit of that. Lovely. Unlock the left doors. Oh no! Uh, hang on, put that in neutral. There we go. Right, fill the newspapers. Do the sign. I think we should focus on this platform. Yep, yeah, because then we could always do the other platform another time when we're coming back the other way. Bees. Can we go out of this station? I reckon we probably can. See what's on the other side. Oh wow, there's quite a bit of, uh, there's quite a way to walk, isn't there? Flipping out, they've done all this. Oh, yep, yeah, we've just jumped for some reason and face planted the wall. Never mind. God, I've got a banging headache now after that. Go, 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 quick. Guard's wondering where we've gone. Whee, there we go. We're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. Look at that for timing. Quite the uh, professional station uh, station restocker. 
it seems at the moment the government, if they get their way for all our stations, uh, which is massively, uh, I am massively, massively opposed to that. Um, please, please, please do go on the RMT's website and sign the petition against all your station ticket office closures uh, because people that work in ticket offices don't just sell tickets, they play a massive, massive part in, uh, in our railways, whether that's going out and gritting the platforms, whether it's just been there as a friendly face, Okay, sometimes they're not so friendly, but <laughs> but being there as a face, that if you need help, you can go and talk to us. So please, please, please do uh, save our ticket offices. I reckon that if the uh, the government do get their way, ooh, station, if they get their way, then drivers will be carrying uh, a bit of compost, a bit of soil, carrying metros, restocking stations like that. You know, there'll be no guards on trains, no station staff at stations. It'll just be the drivers at stations, they'll just get out of the cab, run around, do a bit of gritting while they're there. You know, this is what is to come, people, and uh, yeah, please, please, please do help us try and save. Can't guarantee we can, obviously, but we can try our best, can't we? There's a lot of brilliant people that I work with, a lot of absolutely fantastic people, and uh, what what has been done is, is not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair on the staff, it's not fair on the, uh, on the travelling public. And, uh, you know, it's it's sadly one of those things, isn't it? We can try our best. We can try our best. Right, there we go. Pop it into neutral. Let's get out and, uh, while we're here. Let's, let's just do that while we're here. Ah! Oh, it was on the other side. I thought it was a map. Now we can do this one. Map. 6, 12 and 30. I don't think I'm going to be back in time. Get the papers stocked up. Oh no. 10, 9, 8. Oh no, there's flowers. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right. There we go. Lot right. Oh look, I missed those flowers down there. That's Oh, we'll have to get them on the way back. Where were we there? Was that Hattersley? I don't know. Is there a station sign? Yes, Hattersley. Should really have looked at that, shouldn't I? Straight into Notch 4. Does seem 60 is about as fast as you will get on this line. Broad bottom, your next stop. Does seem we've lost the sun a little bit, doesn't it? We've, uh, we've got this fine mist. Oh, I love it. It is a good looking train, isn't it, to be fair? Right, one mile. Uh, we should be doing 40 in one mile, but then broad bottom is before that, so that's fine. Two and a half miles to the red signal. So this is quite a long block section. They have this on SimSig, this long block section. into broad bottom here aren't we that's no good we'll have a bit of step two just to just to bring us down there we go that's better hey there's a few here isn't there I never realized this station was so busy I'll tell you what else I never realized that there's a clock in the in the uh, on the 323 there Oh, we've stopped a bit short there, never mind. Look at that! There's a clock! Right, let's let's have a little walk around here while we're here. May as well. Is it a good idea leaving the cab door wide open? Ah, this is Train Sim World. There won't be any hoodlums trying to steal our train. Nope. So, it's not very secure leaving it, is there? But it's fine, it's fine, I'm sure. Oh, we can't go out that way, it's only passengers. Only the oh, can we have a look in the waiting room? Have they done that? Oh, they've done the waiting room. Oh wow! Look, there's a ticket office. Oh, fantastic! We can't go out that way. 
Why have they gone to all this detail yet? Piccadilly's garbage. Oh, that is lovely. I, I quite like that. Ooh, a bit of a puddle there. We could do with a brush. Another map on. That is fantastic. And I think it's funny that the ticket office is located on the side that the majority of people won't buy tickets on. Can you get in the other side? Ah, right, you have to go past that anyway. I, I was going to say, like, if you could get in that side, most people will be going to Manchester, won't they? You'd imagine. Yeah, oi, oi, you. Get out. This is my cab. Right. Where are we going? Come on, guard. I don't trust you. Got that thieving look in your eyes. It's a good job we got back just in time. Don't know why you get the uh, driver assist thing at the top. Can we turn that off in the settings, I wonder? Because whenever you take it out of... Let's have a look. Hood and gameplay. Driver safety system. Hmm. Because I, I don't need it to tell me. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's one of them things, isn't it? Full power. Step back, please. Yeah, local residents won't be happy. Quarter past six in the morning. Been woken up to that din. Speaking of dins, Dintin. Next stop, that's quite a curved platform, if I uh, if I remember rightly. Oh, hang on, let's not forget there's a 40 coming up here. We'll behave ourselves. So it's 1.8 mile away, but the red signal is before then. What's this here? Bit of snow? Oh no, it's just a viaduct. That's weird, no ballast on the viaduct. Is, is that a case? Come on, train enthusiasts, let me know. Is there ballast on the Dintin Viaduct? Oh, we're speeding a little bit, but it's fine because we've got to the 60. There we go. One and a half miles to Dintin, but only 1.2 miles to the red signal. So we'll, uh, we'll speed along here at 60. And then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, try and, we'll try and slow down. Well, no, we will slow down. There's no try about it. Because if you pass the red signal on this, it's not like Train Sim Classic, where, excuse me, where you can just keep going. No, if you pass a red signal on this, it's very arcadey and says, level failed. Well, it doesn't, but you know what I mean. You've passed a red signal, we're exiting the game, that's that. So you can't actually do anything particularly irresponsible on this. I reckon they've put that in because obviously they've, they've had to get the uh, the northern going on. Yeah, there we go. Let's have a bit of braking. There you go. Uh, a thing. I don't know what that sign means. Should I know what that sign means? I don't know if I should know what that sign means. Okay, yeah, we're coming up to the red a bit too fast there. Is it a, uh, a controlled approach thing for the 10 mile an hour? Is it going to clear when I get up to it? Look at that. That was... Uh, although I should probably have gone a little bit slower up to it. Where's my DRA? There. There we go. Cat set off now. Look, I've put it in full power. Oh, we're not going to set off. Purpose of a DRA. Driver reminder appliance. Oh, there we go. Right. Off. And away we go. Ah, oh, right, okay, so we're waiting for the other train. I was going to say, I didn't realise why... I didn't know why we'd be waiting, to be perfectly honest with you. 
but obviously he's just come from Glossop. No, we're going to Glossop. He's come from Hadfield. That's that's what's happened there, people. What time are we into Dinting? Oh, we've got about a minute and twenty seconds. Oh, no, no, no. Why is the 10 not quite... Oh, it changes to 10 before the 10. Excellent. God, you can see why it's 10 mile an hour, can't you? This is a flipping tight corner. I want a... a that. Oh, I've, I've pressed F11. Oh, I've put it in windowed mode. Well, you messed up your... Ah, that's good. No! No, 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 no. What have you done, you idiot? That'll do. There we go. Don't press F11. It's sort of the same really curvy... God, a lot of people going to gloss up, isn't there? Same really curvy station that you see at that place beginning with B, whose name I uh, whose name escapes me. On the uh, on the the London Midland route, Cross City, that's the one. Go on, you know the one. It's where you turn off the main line to go down towards um, that that station. <laughs> Can you, God, my route knowledge is uh, is absolutely sublime, isn't it? Uh, oh no, why does it not, it's not broad green, that's, uh, that's somewhere else, isn't it? When you go in south of Birmingham, you go through five ways and all that business, and then you turn off the main line just before the Licky Incline, there's that station. Bank green? Possibly. Possibly bank green. There we go, we'll, uh, we'll lock the doors. Bromsgrove? Bank green? It's one of them, one of them. Loss up 0.9 miles. That explains the red signal in 0.9 miles. A single line section. Oh, we uh, we can accelerate now. We can do a whole thirty. Is it thirty? No, it's twenty-five miles per hour. A oh, little bit of a bridge there. Do we think maybe there used to be a station? I don't know. Probably not, because it's uh, it's not too far from Dinton, is it? Obviously, up the Hadfield line was where um, that was where the because the Glossop was always a terminus. Was Glossop always a terminus? I can't remember. Pretty sure it was. Right, so we'll slow down for the uh, for the ten mile an hour. About three hundred yards away, isn't it? That'll do. We'll uh, we'll we'll cruise in. That'll do. And uh, yeah, we're we're gonna leave it at Glossop today, and then we'll do a little trip round to Hadfield in future, probably. Or we'll start at Hadfield and you, you know what I mean. Uh, do the Hadfield to Manchester bit. So uh, yeah, thank you. Oh, we're gonna be speeding, flipping it. We were doing so well. Oh no. Is it 10 mile an hour from all the way out there? That's ridiculous. Uh, anyway, we better stop at Glossop because it'll go with a hell of a bang if we don't. 
I've stolen that off Magic Toad. I can't even claim that as my own. Apparently a passenger asked him if the train stopped at Bradford Interchange and his reply was I hope so, because it'll go with an hell of a bang if, uh, if it doesn't. The joke being there that Bradford Interchange is a terminus station, it's not a through station if you're not too familiar with the geography. Uh, but yes, thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. If you've enjoyed it, take one second of your time to click that like button. Uh, and uh, if you haven't already and you've thought, you know what, I actually quite enjoyed that video. That Joe is, uh, is an all-around hilarious and uh, brilliant chap to watch albeit not very good at stopping at Terminus Station, as it appears, uh, then do consider hitting that subscribe uh, button so that you don't miss out on any future episodes. Thank you so, so much for watching, everybody. That was Manchester Piccadilly through to Glossop, and, uh, and hopefully I shall see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.